Hey guys, um, I just wanted to kind of give you a little update with my painting and talk a little bit quickly about kind of some things that you might expect through this painting um, and just some areas where it might be a little challenging or confusing and how to go forward and move forward with what you're doing. So if you remember, I started with uh, four little squares here at the beginning of my painting in my last video and I'm just sort of moving concentrically really randomly um, really not um, planning it out too much in my mind I'm just kind of letting the color uh, take over if you can see by my palette here um, you know I'm, I'm doing a lot of pot painting and mixing I'm using a paper plate now to get some of these colors and you got to be careful because once you start mixing your primaries and secondaries together quite a lot you're going to start to get some of these muddy colors now some of those colors are really nice and they might be colors that you want but um, if it starts to get out of control on you i really urge you to clean your which i'm about to do is to clean your water rinse your tray out go grab a new paper uh, plate or, or piece of paper to work on and kind of get a fresh start um, if you look at my painting and, we, and you think about that 10 to 20 percent transition from one square to the next you can see that I've used a number of different methods to do that. So in some cases I've used water to kind of lighten my colors. So I'm making my transitions using value or tone. In other areas, I'm using intensity to make a change. So if you were to take a black and white photograph of this painting, you would probably see a pretty even uh, light to dark kind of transition. Um, occasionally, maybe I jump a little bit too much uh, I'm trying to do a nice job of getting rid of these little popcorn things. Some of these I might have to go in and fill, so be uh, a little bit more vigilant with that. Um, as I said at the beginning of the painting, we don't have to get the whole rainbow in here. You know, you might, and that's fine, but if you want it dominantly blue to, to red or whatever, like I said, um, go with that. So it's, it's working pretty good. It's going pretty fast. Um, you know, it's one at a time. Um, I'm testing my color over here. Don't overthink it. You know, you should be able to just paint it and paint it. If you really don't like something, as soon as you paint it, you're like, whoops, I don't like that. Hit it with your paper towel, just dab it down and it'll all come off or most of it. And you can go ahead and, and correct over it. Some of these lighter colors, if I don't like them later, I can actually go over them. It's hard to reverse your darker colors. It's like, I can't get that lighter because I don't have a white in my tray. So prepare for that. but. It's really just an opportunity to relax, you know, have some fun. It's not a, a real, you know, it's not like you have to really overthink this. You should be able to just kind of have some fun and paint. But we do want to have that 10 to 20 percent um, change from one shape to the next. So we don't want it just random, just paint whatever you want. Just paint a, you know, a bunch of squares, any color you want. You want to be able to show control and how you can change your tint. So. Um, so I'll keep going and I'll keep updating you, but I'll put this on uh, today, Monday, and, uh, and then I think by Friday, and I'll send you an email on this, but I'd like to see your progress. So maybe I'll have you guys shoot me some um, photos of your work um, for Friday so I see that everybody's doing the work. So any questions, let me know. Otherwise, have a great day. Thanks.